Father God, as we thank you, dear Lord, for this opportunity to come and study and to feast and dine upon your word. I'm asking, Holy Spirit, for your direction. Lord God, your word's already anointed. So, Father God, I'm praying that you would allow me to sustain the weight of your glory yes. as I bring forth your word today. Direct my hands, my feet. And, Lord God, I'm praying that we have a teachable spirit to pick up whatever you are putting out today. In the name of Jesus. And we said amen. 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 And amen. Yeah, come on.
You see, the rest that the scripture is talking about, it's not just an average kind of rest. It is something that the Lord God desires for us to have. Amen. If you don't believe that God does not want us to rest, well, why is it in the book of Genesis? He said he created the heavens and the earth. And on the seventh day, he said you should what? Rest. Oh, come on now. Oh, it's quiet yeah. in the house. Yeah, yeah. But keep in mind, God wants us to rest, people of God. God wants us to sit down, sit back, and relax. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Come on now. Mm -hmm. All the stuff you've been going through, the ripping and the running and the fast pace, the Lord God's trying to speak to somebody in this house today, mm -hmm. telling you, sit down, sit back, relax, and the final word, rest. In the name of Jesus. He's wanting you to slow it down just a little bit so you can obtain everything that he has for you. And see what I mean? He's talking about resting. He's talking about don't get so concerned about all of the things of this world. The anxiety. See, some of you, you're, you're anxious. You don't know what to do. You're asking the Lord God, what should I do here? What should I do? The Lord God says, daughters, you need to enter into my rest. I'm telling you, God says he wants you to be at rest. He wants you to get to this place. And you know a scripture that popped up for me when I heard about like no movement? For Psalms 46 and 10 that says, be still and know that I am God. Do you hear like, it doesn't say rest in it, but I guarantee you that does say something about the Lord God about rest. When God is telling you like he's speaking to us today, he's telling us to rest. He's trying to tell you, do you know who I am? <laughs> I'm the everlasting God. He said, nothing moves me, nothing goes beyond me. I see everything and I know all things. He said, you know, be still and know that I'm God. You may not think that he saw what was taking place on your job, but he said, be still and know that I'm God because I know everything that's happening. He just wants you to rest. You see, he's wanting you to sit back and relax. See, people of God, that, that sounds so strange to some of us because we're so used to doing everything. And God says, but when it comes to, he said, I'm trying to teach you something. If I took time, I created all the creation. I created every animal, everything. I created everything and I set aside a day to rest. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. If the Lord is our example, what's wrong with us? If he is trying to tell us to enter, to, you're wondering, well, why do I need to rest? Did you listen to the definition? Resting does not mean that you're just not doing it. It means you just cease from working. For that period, you need to just relax. I, I like the point of refreshing oneself. How about that one? Yeah. You know what I mean? So I can recover my strength. You see, some of us, you're running around weak and you're wondering, Lord God, I can't do it. He said you need to go rest. Because when you get some rest, you can regain your strength. Mm. Come on now. You see, the enemy don't want you to rest. Come on, mm -hmm. I, 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 he don't want Because he knows if you get a little rest in your system, <laughs> you're going to be speaking that word. Talking to you, you know, you're gonna call those things and be nice, you know, you're gonna be so energized. But see, the enemy doesn't want you to get rest. He'd rather you stay running ragged where you miss things. Yes. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm gonna be honest. Whenever I'm running, doing things quickly, I have a tendency to miss things. Mm -hmm. But whenever I slow it down mm -hmm. and just, just allow God to enter into his rest, I don't need to worry about it. I'm just gonna rest. He's like, why, why aren't you, you know, screaming and hollering? No, no, no. I'm sitting down and I'm relaxing because God's trying to show me something. Come on now. You see, when you rest, God can remove some confusion. Mm. You see, oh yeah, yeah. You see, we get it a lot of times. And here's an area that most of us, uh, you know, I know I've asked individuals before. They think sleep and rest is the same thing. It is mm -hmm. not. You're like, oh, wait a minute now. No, no, no. When sleeping and resting are two different things. They're similar in some ways, but they're not the same. Because see, if you realize it, I looked up the word sleep. Sleep has something to do with closing one's eyes mm. and getting out of consciousness. Now that's sleep. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> now that's sleep. Rest does not say anything about taking your eyes off of anything. Am I right about it? Oh, I don't know oh. what you would see. That, that's why I, I'm, a, I'm maybe stepping a little bit ahead of myself. Help me, Holy Ghost. Then see, when the Lord God spoke to his disciples, now do you understand why he was mad with the disciples? When he called them in the garden, because see, in Mark, help me hold the spirit. And in Mark, help me. In Mark six, um, just just write down this. One. Mark six thirty one. The Lord God told his disciples. He said, "Come with me and let's rest." And you're thinking, okay. The Lord God knows Jesus Christ is telling the disciples. You know why? Because they were feeding the five thousand. They were doing so much. He was trying to tell them, "Come with me. 
Come away with me and rest. He said, come relax. Come sit back, you know, relax your body so that way you can recover your strength. Somebody need to get that. The Lord God's telling somebody, I heard, I'm going to just say it out loud, rest. So you can refresh yourself. The Lord spoke to his disciples. They were about the Father's bit. He didn't call them to rest because they weren't doing the work of the Lord. He called them to rest because they were doing the work of the Lord. God. He mm. said, I need you to rest. I need for you to, you know, get in that place in me and just begin to, you know, regain, recover your strength. Yeah. But on the other side, he got mad at them in the same book of Mark. The Lord God was upset with them in the book of Mark when they were in the garden. Why? Because they were sleeping and not resting. All right, I'm going now. You might as well turn with me. Come on, go with me. In Mark 14, the word of the Lord God said that Jesus was in the garden. Many of you remember that when he was in the garden of Gethsemane. And when he went there, he brought his disciples. Am I right about it? He brought his disciples and he brought Peter and the, the other disciples. And they were there in the garden. And when he told me, he said, hey, I'm going to go pray over here. He said, can you just sit with me? Come on now, pray with me. When he came back, Guess what they were doing? Sleeping. 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 My God. So I'm here to tell I want you to see that because if God would call us to come to his rest, and then he'd be upset because they're sleeping, there must be a difference between the two. Mm -hmm. Because see, while they were resting, the enemy was cutting up. While they were sleeping, I should say, the enemy was cutting up. See, when they were resting, that means they were just regaining their strength. You know, that this is, I can be resting right now. Just no movement. But sleeping is a whole nother concept. Sleeping is that you close your eyes and let the enemy run rampant. All right now, somebody better get that. You see, I'm gonna make a shout right now, wake up. You're like, I thought you told me to rest. I said, I, you can rest, but I didn't tell you to go to sleep. That's what's going on right now. We're sleeping too much and the enemy running rampant in our homes, in our families, on our job. You know, like I said, I told you to rest, I didn't tell you to go to sleep. You see, the enemy's waiting for you to start doing this. Sleep. He doesn't matter if you rest because he knows if you're resting, you can rest like this. Focusing, praying, tearing down something. You're just, you're not moving, but you're still resting. Hmm. You still have your consciousness. Do you hear the definition mm -hmm. when I did sleep? Do you realize that sleep, it means to close your eyes and loss of consciousness of your surroundings. Can you see that thing in the spirit? If you're sleeping spiritually, the enemy's like, oh, he do whatever he wants because you're not in tune with what the Lord God is doing. Can you understand that? If you are sleeping in the spirit, and see, the enemy's already upset because I just woke up about 20 people and told you, go to rest, but wake up from sleeping. Lord, have mercy. He's calling us to, to rest. Not to go to sleep on your calling. Not to go to sleep in what God called for you to do. Because he doesn't want you to lose your consciousness. He said, I'm calling you to regain your strength. Mm. Not to lose your play. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's calling That's you to rest. I, I, yeah, some of you are going to love that. I, I did the uh, acronym. I, look, I did rest. Uh, R-E-S-T. Yeah, how many of you know how to spell it? Yeah. Rest. Uh, uh, let, let's do R for receive. E for everlasting. S for strength. And T for through. That means you're going to receive everlasting strength through. God tells you to rest. I'm going to receive. I'm going to receive everlasting strength through it. Come yes, on. Lord. I'm going to get through this thing, but not on my own. So I'm going to receive everlasting strength through. That's how I'm going to rest. I'm going to rest knowing that God's got me. Come on I'm gonna now. Rest yes, God's Lord. Taking care of me. I'm going to yes, rest. Lord. I'm going to relax. I'm going to sit down in my blessing. <laughs> Yes, Lord. Rest. 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 In the name of Jesus. You must understand that God's calling for us today to enter into his rest. The scripture says that he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We see that. I want to go a little bit further. Look at verse 29. Look at verse 29. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Right there. Right there is a little nugget. I, I, I've always, you know, at times I've quoted that, misquoted that, but look what it says. My, in, in the New King James Version, it said, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Mm -hmm. The Lord God says, I'm trying to teach you because you don't know how to rest. 
I'm trying to teach you how to receive everlasting strength through it. I'm trying to teach you that I can give you the, this rest. I can give you that you can receive this everlasting strength through this situation that you're going through. But you've got to learn from me. He said, if you learn from me, he said, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He said, I'm trying to teach you, people of God, that all that you're going through, give it to me. Because you need to rest. You're so busy trying to carry something that you were equipped to carry. You're trying to handle some business that you weren't designed to handle. The Lord God says that you, kings and queens, you need to learn how to enter into his rest. He said, I'm trying to give you this rest. I'm trying to present to you this place in me where you don't have to worry about it. You just trust me in it and I'll take care of it. You know, the Lord God's trying to tell you, if you are his, if you are his, you can just relax. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. This may not be, it may be difficult for you, some of you to get because you're like, well, wonder the Lord, God, why am I still going through it? And that's the question you need to ask yourself. Then why are you still going through it with the struggle? If he's commanding you to rest. Mm. He's commanding your spirit man to sit down and relax. He said, I know all hell seems to be breaking loose, but he said, I'm calling you to rest. He said, I didn't call you to go to sleep, though, but I did call you to rest. He said, I'm calling you to keep your eyes open, but regain your strength. Come on now, wipe your tears off. Go sit down somewhere. Ooh, oh, oh, come on, Holy Ghost. I like that about God. No, no, no. Go sit down. <laughs> sit down. Get out of, get out of this. Ah! You know, no, no, no. Look, I said, no, no, no. Can you see him? Like, what do we call it back in school? What do teachers call it? Kind of? <laughs> That's it. The Lord God said, come on, come here. Come. Come. <laughs> Come to me. And there you go. Sit. Come to rest. And that's something that's beautiful. Somebody needs to get that. You go to him to rest. You don't go to uh you don't go to your bed to rest. You go to Christ to rest. I don't care what kind of mattress you got, you still gotta go sleep well unless you got Jesus Christ, the one that's telling you to rest. And somebody's like, you know what, I, I got the best mattress in the world. You still ain't gonna get no rest. <laughs> I don't care if you got seed or whatever. You can have the sheets, whatever you got. You can have the cushion, the bubbles, the water, whatever you got. It still will not provide you with the rest that you need. You'll probably go to sleep, which is what the devil wants you to do. But you will not ever get your rest that you need until you come to Jesus. Bring every situation that you're dealing with. Just bring it to him. Can you see the Lord God tell Just come to me. You're weary, you're heavy. Come to me. You got a problem that nobody seems to solve. Come to me. You got something you can't tell nobody. Come to me. He said, Come to me, and I will give you this rest. I will give you this true rest in me. Yes. And see, that's what we're loving, people of God. That's what we desire. I don't know about you, but I desire to enter his true rest. I, I remember there was a season in my life where I was just like, Oh, God, why? I, I know I'm not the only one, or maybe I am. You ever been in a season where like, oh God, why? Yeah. Yep. Now you don't want to tell it to the body of Christ, you know, because they think you're not spiritual. <laughs> why, God? How many of you really, you know, where the wrong people at? Why? You pray, and you don't say it when nobody in the house can hear, but you go, oh God, why is it? Why? And then people are like, that's not of God. You know what? It's called relationship. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. you know, because yeah. I'm not going to sit there and ask you why, I'm yeah. going to be lying. Yeah. Yes. You said for me to come to you. Come on now. I went through a season, y'all, of why. Yeah. Why is it why? Why is it? And it took a very simple, oh as like I said, you never know when God's going to bless you with a powerful word and what vessel he'll use. He used a, a bank teller. Oh I'll never forget that. Oh because, you know, you know when you start dealing with your money, you, you can get a love the heated, you know. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I was in the drive through and I'm sharing that because I, I'm here to tell you, it was a young girl, and she probably just started the job. And I was like, she's like, man, I was like, well, I don't understand. I'm, you know, I'm all, I can understand. You're not going to give me my money. I, I'm just, you know, you know, how I many of you know what I'm feeling? You know, you went there to just do a one transaction. All of a sudden, I'm not going to get my check. I'm just, I'm, I'm about to lose it. And she said, you know what? She said, everything's going to be all right. And when she told me that, she said, you just need to enter rest. 
God that floored me. That floored me. Wow. Because to know that for true rest, for someone, you know, as, and of all people, someone as a bank teller, you know, operating in such a realm that, you know, she's just doing her job. She did not know who I was, and it didn't even matter because I needed that word at that time. But yeah. somebody to tell me, just when she said, you know, everything's going to be all right. And her words was, you just need to rest. That's it. Wow. I was going, I could have just went through the window and just hugged her or what, because I was crying. Yeah. By the time, because I felt like the Lord God says, now you're supposed to be a big girl. And you, you, you crying over there, and somebody had to come minister to you. Rest. Yeah. Don't be so fragile about it. He said, don't you know I own the cattle on a thousand here? He said, don't you? I got that check plus many of the checks. You're not going to miss it. And I didn't miss anything. I didn't miss one thing. She did not give me the funds. I did not get what I wanted. But I drove off and I was at rest. Because surely enough, when it all came down, there was a plus in the account. Tell the lights. But they couldn't yeah. figure it out because I was in the drop. Wow. And you know I could have gotten ignorant, right? <laughs> I don't know. When, when it comes to things like that, I can get a little on edge. <laughs> and I'm honest. And I mean, you know what? God said, what a construction taper. He's still working on me. Especially when it comes to that. You're going to tell me, what? What? Got my, my tone got louder through the speaker and everything. And when she said, just rest, I literally just began to cry. Because the Lord God was ministering to me. And I said to myself, my God. And he led me to the word. He said, that's what you need to do is rest. You need to understand that everything is going to be all right. You need to relax, calm down, you know, regain your strength and refresh yourself. I drove, I didn't miss not one thing, y'all. I said, surely enough, God's work. I mean, the moment, but some of us, we need that sometimes. And that's what the Lord God's calling for us today. At this word, to just say, you know, rest. Need somebody to turn a point your, your spirit man and see, you know what, I was frustrated and worried about a lot of things, but I serve a God who sits high and looks low. God has everything under his perfect control. He is not surprised by anything that has happened and what's about to happen. He knows it all. So I just need to sit down, <laughs> relax, and rest. Trusting true rest is knowing that everything is going to be all right. That doesn't mean you're going to understand it all. I'm preaching right now. That doesn't mean, you see, you see that, that's the thing with us as being, we want to understand it right now. When she didn't give me that, I want to, right now, you better show me. Yeah. Right now, I want to see everything. That's us. Something go wrong. What? Look, I, do I need to drive in? What? We're closed. No, do I need to come stand in front of you? You know? That wasn't it. And the Lord God was ministering all in it. I'm, I gave you that example to let me just let you know that's how I was. That's how we are. We want to understand something before we rest. The Lord God says, I'm not asking you to understand it. I just want you to rest. Mm. Somebody better get that. See, you're too busy trying to figure what God's trying to do. He said, I'm not asking you to understand what I'm doing, but I am asking you to just rest. Relax and know that everything's going to be all right. Relax and know that I am God. You see, in that Matthew chapter 11 and verse 28 through 30, he says, come to me all you who labored are heavy laden and I will give you this rest. You said, you come to me, you're like, I don't understand, but if you come to me, I'm gonna give you that particular rest that you need. Take my yoke upon and learn from me. Learn that I know how it feels. I understand that you need to rest. Learn from me. If I worked and I created the heavens and the earth and I rested, I'm calling you to refresh yourself. You see, some of us, you're going to run out before your time is to run out if you don't go rest. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, God, God's calling for you to rest. You're, you're thinking that's not. Yes, it is in God. It is biblical for you to take time and to refresh and to regroup. It is not a horrible thing. It is spiritual. Matter of fact, it, it's very healthy for I must tell you, in this Christian life, we all need to take time to rest. You've got to take a spiritual rest in God. That's the true rest. That means I didn't say you forget your problems. I said you give your problems to him. That doesn't mean that they don't exist. I'm not going to tell you, instead of into the enemy is going to stop messing with you, things are going to all start working out slow. I didn't tell you that. But I told you that you know that God's going to take care of it, though. I am telling you that. And as a matter of fact, you may get more attacks than what you had before. But you 
can rest that as God did it before, he going to do it again. again. Yes, Lord. He's in the he got a track record to keep doing what he's doing. Yes. I tell you what, he's not a man that he should lie. He said it, so shall it be. If he's spoken, it shall come to pass. Yes, Lord. That's how you know. That's when you enter his rest. When you enter his rest, you're like, yeah, all right. When you enter his rest, you can look at things and say, you know, yeah, things don't look well, but it's going to be okay. Because I, I'm, I'm, I'm resting in him. I'm getting some strength right now. Uh, tell somebody, just tell them, rest. Rest. Tell someone on the other side, tell them, rest. rest. See, we learn the difference rest. between rest and sleep. God's not calling you to go to sleep, but he's calling you to rest. He's calling you to get to that place in him, to take a rest in him. People of God, that turn with me to the book of Hebrews. Yeah, I, I said Hebrews chapter number 3 and chapter number 4 is our assignment. You're going to see where I'm going when we get there. Come on now. Uh, yeah, yeah. In Hebrews chapter number 3, look what the scripture says. It's the, the latter part of 3. Because see, as the Lord God's calling for us to go to enter into rest, there are some individuals that won't be able to partake in this rest that we're talking about. You're like, oh, wait a minute. God's excluding some people. You're about to see it right here. In Hebrews 3, verse number 18 and 19. The word of the Lord God says, And to whom who did he swear that they would not enter his rest, but those who did not underline their word obey. Look at verse 19. So we see that they could not enter in because of unbelief. Two things that will stop you from entering to God's rest. And I believe that as children of God, you can see that. If you sit back and so the Lord God is saying that rest is there for individual. First, you gotta want to obey Him. Whatever God tells you to do, you gotta do it. That's how you're gonna get rest. Not doing your will, but doing thy will be done. Mm -hmm. You see, that'll give you rest. And when you obey His word, and look, the major thing is believe. How can you believe that God is if you don't want to believe His word? How can you? Unbelief will cause you to miss God's rest. Mm -mm. It's quiet in the house tonight. This afternoon, I should say. The Lord God is trying to tell there's two groups of people that will not enter his rest. You're like, well, why won't they enter? Because they do not believe that God is telling them to come into this rest. They don't believe in his word. And they don't want to obey him. How can you? Wow. Can you imagine that? So I'm praying that, that that's not going to be us today. That's not going to be the children of God in the house. That you're going to miss your miracle because of unbelief. Or you miss your miracle because you don't want to obey. God says that I'm calling you to a rest. But if you're like, you know what, well, I got it, God. I got it. Mm. You're going to mess around and miss. He didn't he tell you to sit down? <laughs> didn't he tell you to relax? Did he not? But you want to, I'm going to, this is us. I pray that we don't have a Martha spirit up in here. <laughs> It's good for a season, but you got to know where to put it. Can you imagine? He's telling you to sit down and go, Lord God, I'm done. I'm, I'm preparing it. Now, keep in mind, he told you to sit. Understand the difference. If you're preparing it, it's good to prepare for the Lord, but when the Lord's there, sit down. See, what, see more than the Lord help me, Holy Ghost. Uh, see, let me teach a little bit right there. The difference between the two, yes, and she had a, that was a good thing. That means she wasn't lazy. She wasn't slothful. And it wasn't anything bad about Mary that she wasn't lazy. The idea is that the timing of what Martha did. The timing. Martha was busy about the Lord's business when the Lord was there. You see, you can be getting ready for the Lord. But when the Lord steps in the room, everything ceases. Mm. Mm. See, that's the problem. She was trying to, but like, can you imagine the Lord drinking some water? Ooh, let me get she, yeah. Wait a minute, go sit down. You're going to miss your miracles. You're working and I'm here. The blessing, all what you prepared for shows up in the room and you're still cleaning? Oh. Oh, come on now. I say, I'm putting it around where you can understand. You're like, oh, wait a minute, God. You understand that whenever you're preparing yourself to receive the Lord, it's a good thing. But whenever the Lord is in a visitation with you, it's time for you to stop. It's time for you to rest. The Lord God speaking to you. Oh, let me get this. Let me get this. No, no, no. You're going to miss your hour of visitation. Because the Lord God is in your presence. Those of you, you, you know, those of you who are not a prayer, you know when the Lord has entered in a room. You understand that. You understand when the Lord, mm. nothing, I don't get it. It can be burning. <laughs> it, I don't care the water overflowing. 
because he's talking to you and you're like, Lord. Now if you're over here, Lord. You just, uh, no. Oh my God. You didn't let, don't act like that, just keep looking.